What is going on guys, it's Declan here and today I'm going to be discussing and showing you guys images of what may actually be the new apartments that do end up coming alongside the High Life DLC update. Also, I am going to be talking about the new capture event weekend. You guys are going to be able to earn some big prizes with this. So if you like the sound of that or you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Once again, let's see if we can shoot for something well over 500 likes. That would be awesome. And with that said, let's begin. So starting off what could potentially be the new apartment locations, I'm going to be showing you the images for that now, but I do want to give credit to Jink77 on the GTA 5 forums. He actually compiled a great thread of what he thinks is going to be suitable locations for the apartments and it does seem plausible that Rockstar may actually use these. So, starting off with the first potential location, and that is the Puerto del Sol Yacht Club. Hopefully I'm saying that right, but the location has two main towers as well as a long, low apartment block. The club is just north of the 6 car Vespucci apartment and would be a great luxury addition to the marina area. So as you can see by the footage on screen, or the image on screen rather, this is one hell of a nice looking apartment. If this was actually going to be coming as new DLC alongside the High Life DLC, then this would cost a lot of money I am guessing, seeing as it would be one of the most luxurious apartments in the game. Anyway, here is an image of the garage exit on the south tower, which does make it seem more plausible that Rockstar may actually end up using this as a new apartment in the future. Once again guys, this is potential, it isn't confirmed, but like I said, Jinx has been going around the whole map looking at where the new apartment locations could potentially be. Once again, here is an image of the garage exit on the north tower of this building. Once again, a really, really good potential to be a new apartment. Anyway, moving away from that one and moving on to another potential apartment, and that is the CNT building. Now, this is a long tower. It does have two Pegasus locations right next to it. So if you was to call it Pegasus, you know, you have locations nearby. Also, the garage exits onto Elgin Avenue and overlooks the freeway, making access to most parts of the map very easy. Once again, there is an image for the garage and also an image for the front entrance or the entrance to the building itself. Once again, another suitable location to be one of the new apartments. Anyway, moving on to the second last apartment I'm going to be showing you guys. Now, there is a load of potential locations on this thread. Once again, a link to the thread is in the description below. But the second last one I'm going to be talking about is the South Tower. Now, this is located right next to the half pipe in Little Seoul and the front entrance is right at the corner of San Andreas Avenue. So as you can see, there is the front entrance to it, as well as the garage exit as well, which is actually right next to the road. Another great and suitable location for a new apartment. Anyway, moving on to the last apartment that I'm going to be talking about, and that is the Callisto Apartments. Now, this is located on Power Street in downtown Vywood. The building has good access to north and eastern parts of the city, and also has an ammunition on the corner. Now, as you can see on screen, there is an image to the garage entrance or exit, and they'll also have a few images of the entrance as well. Now, I want to know what you guys think of these. Do you guys think these have potential to be the new DLC apartments? I mean, there's only so many locations where the new apartments could actually be, so it does seem plausible that some of these, if not all of them, will actually be the new apartments. Make sure you drop your comments down below, and I'll be sure to get back to you on these. And as you can see, this apartment is also one of the luxurious ones as well. Looks really nice there, I like the front garden area as well as the front entrance. And also there is the back as well where you can climb onto the roof via the ladders. Once again, there is loads of potential apartments within this post, so make sure you guys check it out in the description below. Anyway, that was the last apartment that I am going to be talking about in this video. Once again, link in the description below if you want to see them all. Anyway, I am now going to be talking about the Capture Creator update or the event weekend. And as you can see on screen right now, you guys are going to be able to win a load of prizes, including 1 million GTA 5 dollars, an exclusive in-game capture license plate, and you'll also be one of the first to join the Rockstar Verified Capture Honors. And the way in which you enter this is by creating a really good capture job. Now, for anybody who doesn't know yet, there's actually a new addition to the content creator, which is called Capture, and you can do so much with this, guys. There is loads of things you can do. You can set NPCs everywhere. You can set what weapons they have. You know, it's, it's amazing what they've actually done with this. So make sure you guys check it out. I'm going to be reading a little bit on this newswire now to you guys. A link to the newswire will be in the description below. Low. So, as you can see, it does say, as a little bonus for early birds in the community who are planning to make their first capture creation masterpieces this weekend, we're going to be giving four creators the opportunity to score a cool 1 million GTA 5 dollars and the exclusive in-game capture license plate in the Capture Weekend Awards. 
the four official selectors will also be joining the hollowed ranks of the Rockstar Verified Jobs and be invited to join us on a future Rockstar Games live broadcast on Twitch to play through and talk about their creations. There is also some text on the newswire stating that times 2 GTA 5 money and RP for capture jobs the period is basically going to be extended because it was supposed to be just Friday so they are basically extended that to over the weekend. Anyway guys that is pretty much it for the video make sure you guys check out all the information in the description below you have some big chances here to earn some big prizes I really like the custom license plate the most nevertheless if you did go on to enjoy today's video make sure you hit that like button down below once again can we try to shoot for something well over 500 likes that would be awesome and with that said I will see you guys in the next video.